with Jim Phillips Action Auto Parts. Super Dave in the Jeep. He wants to take him to the house. Overalls and his hoodie. So we're gonna see if it'll make the, the one and a half mile trip from the farm to the house. And we may not get it off the farm. <laughs> so far, <laughs> at least it's moving. If you hadn't seen the other videos, on the 77 CJ5 that I bought for my wife. I bought it from a guy that said he got it out of a field. It was all grown up around it. And then uh, he got it home, changed his mind. It was still on a trailer and I bought it. And Dave and a buddy of his up here one day and so we can get that running. And by golly, they did get it running. So uh, it's got a tire that goes down on the passenger side front. Uh, so he got it aired up. And uh, customers is all gone right now. So we're gonna see if we can make it out the road. <laughs> I don't know if we will or won't. Right He's trying to find second. <laughs> I may have to get behind him and push him. I'm gonna wrap this in the air. <laughs> It's a spitting and a jumping. <laughs> I mean, folks, they don't tell how long it's been since this Jeep was ran. Uh, but we was wanting to get it out to the house. And I'm gonna get Crystal some kind of a cover to put over it. And uh, it didn't need to be sitting out here kind of in the way and people always want to buy it or buy something off of it. So hopefully the, nobody will call and mess this video up. So if it, before I get too deep into it, give me a thumbs up, please. Leave a comment, subscribe. I'm almost to 700. I need your help, please. And here's old Barney. Hey, Barney, what you doing, boy? I love that dog. But uh, <laughs> Dave's got her a bouncing. But uh, check out Beamer and Sun Garage up in Bethel, Ohio. And uh, I'm gonna kind of keep it running a little bit, but then if somebody calls, it usually shuts it off. So I'll go on and get in my my outros. I think he's still trying to get in third gear. He had not had much luck finding third, but that old clutch is so stiff. And like I said, that thing's not been drove probably in years. 77 CJ5. Uh, but it run, it, the old motor runs good considering it's got a bunch of stale gas and the boat gas tank was stuck in the back of it behind the bucket seats and uh so i guess he's gonna run it home in second gear <laughs> i told him if it didn't get there i'll ease up behind him and push him some but we really wanted to see if it would make the trip and uh get it home and then when crystal gets back from getting groceries and stuff then it kind of surprised her that it's sitting there <laughs> I think the biggest thing, Dave just wanted to, after he got it running, just to see if it would make the trip. And uh, he's been tinkering with it off and on we, between customers. And he said, boss, it's going home today. And I said, well, if you want to drive it in the cold, then we'll, I'll let you have at it. So I guess we're going to have to put it out there at about 20 mile an hour. And hopefully it won't run hot. It's got antifreeze and stuff in it. He changed the radiator and all that stuff on it. But uh, I don't guess he's able to get in third gear. <laughs> uh, I love it when old stuff just, you know, when you get something been setting and everybody's kind of gave up on it and then all of a sudden you can kind of bring it back to life. Uh, that's kind of what that old Jeep is right there. It was kind of gave up on and uh, I don't know what all it'll need. I know it's gonna need a lot, but at the same time, it's just kind of cool to have it going. <laughs> and so far, we're we're about halfway home. 
but he's just not been able to get it in third gear, I don't think. <laughs> well, I'm gonna try to film it all the way to the house. It puffed a little bit of smoke, but not much. It's just amazing. I don't think, once they got it running, it really didn't smoke or anything. Uh-oh, what's he doing here? It stopped on him. Well, he started it back. <laughs> uh, uh, he got second. That's, that's it. I don't think he can get third. <laughs> He's like, give me a minute, boss. That was a little smoother takeoff. Yeah, he just can't get it to... I'm going to wrap this up in case we got to push it out of the way. Y'all have a great day. Like I said, please give me a thumbs up and a comment and subscribe. We're about another less than a half a mile from the house. Probably about three or four tenths of a mile. So y'all have a great one and I'll catch you in the next one.